What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool retro sort of space station. It's fairly easy to make and you'll probably learn quite a bit from just watching this tutorial. So once you've opened up Blender, delete the cube, hit Shift A, Mesh, Add Plane, hit S, 8, scale it up to 8, hit Tab, hit Edge and Subdivide and we're going to subdivide this by about 30. Okay, come out of edit mode, so hit tab again. Okay, so we're going to add a wireframe modifier. So come to your modifier, hit wireframe, and just drop the thickness to about 0 0.01. Now apply that. Now hit shift D so you duplicate it, and hit Z and bring that up a bit. If you hit control you can snap it to the grid and we're gonna bring it up a little bit further so hit G Z and just bring it up we'll say about there yeah yeah that's good okay now next thing is we're going to add an echo sphere so hit shift a mesh add echo sphere Hit S, 8, hit enter. Now, just gonna hit G and hit Z and bring it up a bit. Now, zoom out, hit the tilde key, hit 3, and we're gonna go over here and go into X ray mode. So, show X ray. Now, hit the tilde key and hit 7, so you're in front. Now, go into edit mode and Select faces. Okay, so select the top half of the echo sphere. Hit X and delete edges and faces. So you have this weird sort of flowery looking thing. Now hit the tab to come out of edit mode and hit G and hit Alt G. So we reset where the cube is, where the echo sphere is. Okay, now hit S on this and hit Z and just scale it down to about there now hit shift D RX 180 so we're going to flip it and now hit G Z control and just bring it up so it, it looks so it's equal <clears throat> now we're going to click on both sides of the sphere and hit Command J and that's going to join them and merge them into one object. So next thing is to add a wall. So we're going to hit Command A, add a new plane and we're going to go S8 R Y 90. Now hit G, X, and just move that so it's touching the edge. So if you hit control when you um, move it, you can snap the grid. Now if we zoom in, now hit S, Z, and just bring that down close the gaps that will do now hit shift D and then X and then just move that to the other side and just repeat the process now we're going to set the camera and just delete this light too Actually, first come out of X ray mode and delete this light. And we're going to set the camera. So hit click on the camera, hit Alt G, Alt R, and then RX 90, and then GY minus 8. 
Now hit zero so you can see the camera. Uh, hit G, Z, and just bring the camera up. Now we're going to change the focal length. So let's put it to, say, 25. And now you can kind of see where we're going with this. Come out of the camera mode. Select the walls and just join them together. So Command J again. So it's one object. Um, now we're going to put, so hit shift and select all of these objects apart from the camera and hit M on the keyboard. New collection and name it whatever you want. Now hit shift A and you want to add a new collection instance of the thing that you just created. Now that's going to duplicate what you've basically done. So now you want to hit G, Y, 16, Shift D, G, Y, 16, Shift D, Y, 16, Shift D, Y, 16, and just repeat that until you have about seven of them. That'll do. Now we're going to add a sun. So hit Shift A, Mesh, Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere, S8, hit G, Y, and just bring it all the way out there. Now you can't see the sun through the camera because it's too far away, so you want to go into your camera. And you just want to change the end, just increase the end so you can see the sun. Now I'm going to make that sun smaller, so hit S and just scale it to about there. And bring it up a bit. <coughs> now we're going to start shading it so go into rendered mode hit Z8 that goes into rendered mode now first things first click on the plane come here add a new material base color grayish metallic all the way up Roughness all the way down. Now the echo spheres, same again. Base color about there. Metallic all the way up. Roughness all the way down. And same again with the walls. Add a new material. Base color down there. Metallic all the way up. And roughness all the way down. Now, just that last wireframe now. Cool. Now we are going to add an emission shader to some of these wireframes. So if you go into edit mode, click on one of the wireframe planes. Go into edit mode by hitting tab and make sure faces are selected here and just click on one of these wireframes. You'll see it's selected one of them. Now you can kind of come to select, hit select random. Over here you will see the percentage of selections. Just drop that down to around there. And if you want, you can play around with seed generator that will just select different patterns of the selection. So just put it to wherever you think looks cool. Now come here, hit plus, add a new one, and we're going to add an emission shader now. Just come up here, emission, and we're going to go with pink, pop strength up to eight, and hit assign. And we're going to go 
click on another face same again select select random just choose a seed generation that you like and do the same thing we'll add a new one new material emission shader we'll do a nice orange actually we'll do blue strength up to eight <coughs> sorry guys I'm a bit ill <clears throat> hit a sign there we go it's looking quite cool and I'll do the same for the top but you can now if you parented the objects then you could um, they would it would affect the same but uh, we can do different colors this way so same again go into edit mode select a face select select random and we'll do maybe less on the top and we're going to go add new material emission shader color we'll go with maybe red eight okay hit a sign and now same again whatever color you want okay we'll go with orange or green maybe green we are going to just come into your render settings into your scene settings hit ambient inclusion bloom screen space screen space reflections and motion blur now it's starting to come together and come to your bloom settings and just bring that intensity down a bit because it's very harsh maybe we'll bring the strength down as well yeah we're gonna we're gonna go back to these planes i'm just gonna bring the strength down on the shading Five. Now go to your world settings and just make the world black. And we're going to shade the sun now. So come to the sun, click on your sun, hit tilde key free. That will zoom in. And we're gonna shade this now. So just drag this open, change this to shader editor, bring that in, shift A, sorry, add a new material, delete that. I'm going to add a we're gonna add an emission shader surface and shift A again. Add a noise texture, plug the color in to the emission shader. Now, shift eight, converter color ramp, plug that in. And cool that up a bit, bring this one in, change the color of the white. To a nice dark orange, pump the strength up to 50, and you've got a really cool sun. You can play around with scale if you want. Now, if you have Node Wrangler installed, all you need to do is hit Control T, and you can add a mapping coordinator. If you haven't got Node Wrangler, just go into Edit Preferences and type Node Wrangler, and then just make sure that's selected. So yeah, you just hit, click on the noise texture, hit Control T, and you get a mapping node. Now, this allows us to animate this, so you get a weird sort of. Well, there's a bit of movement going on in the sun, so we're going to come to our timeline now and start animating. So if you put this to 120 and bring this to the start, 
hit I on the Y axis of the mapping coordinate bar. Bring that to 1 to 1. 360 on the Y axis and hit I. And now you should get this cool little movement on the sun. Now, come back here. We can come out of this now. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Now, we're just gonna get rid of these overlays. I, I've actually changed my mind. I don't like these colours. I'm gonna go to... Um, the plane and just uh, just the top one I'm gonna change these colors <clears throat> I'm gonna go with orange and pink I think All right. now we need to animate the camera so just click on the camera and hit the keyframe of the first frame. On the first frame, apply a keyframe to the Y and come to the end, go to one to one and change this to eight and hit a keyframe there. Now you're gonna get this really cool loop and it's really, really funky. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do some final adjustments. So go to this section here. Uh, go to color management. And we're going to change the look to very high contrast. And drop the gamma down to about 0.8. And that's looking much better now. Yeah. Cool. Now all you've got to do is render the animation, but before you do that, change the file location. Um, I've just got a little setup called Blender Renders. Uh, just save whatever you want to call it, it's basic time now. Hit accept. Uh, change this to FMPEG video. Encoding, change that to MPEG4. And codec, keep it as H264 and change that to Perceptual Lossless. And then just render the animation and you're done. Right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, apologies for my voice, I'm feeling very ill. Uh, but yeah, this is quite a fun little loop and it looks really awesome. And yeah, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you.